hardware analog instruments to VCV rack and sequence them with VCV rack. This is a new addition to the brand new, fantastic, you know, shining VCV rack 1.0. It's been out for a little bit, but it's got some new features. I'm excited to explore this being one of them. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is, damn, computer slow, that shit's annoying. No, I don't want that. I'm I'm working on getting a new computer so I can have some more RAM, you know, some more CPU power to make some crazy patches. All right, the first thing I want to do in order to do this is get CV to MIDI because we're taking the information from CV, from VCV rack, and we're taking it and bringing it to our analog gear. So... There's two inputs we want to pay attention to. The volts per octave, which is the note being played. Whoopsie daisies. And then the gate, which is whether or not a note is being triggered. So whether or not you're pressing down the key. You can think of the volts per octave as like you're holding your finger over the note on the piano. And then the gate is actually pushing down the piano key and actually committing to that note. So I could just take these two inputs to start out. Volts per octave. Boom, plug that there. This is just my um, MIDI keyboard. Or I mean my computer keyboard, not my MIDI keyboard. My QWERTY keyboard. So you can see. It's not working because I didn't, I didn't. In order to do this, you have to plug in you have to put the core CV to MIDI. You have to choose which hardware output you want it to go to. So I have it to the USB connected to my mini log right now. It's still not making any sound, what the heck? Oh, I was pressing the wrong key on my keyboard. This QWERTY keyboard is a little different from Ableton. Oh. So yeah, that's cool. I'm just typing on my laptop. And playing notes. And I'm doing that through VCV Rack. Okay, that's cool and all, but you could do that in pretty much any um, VST. So what if we want to sequence it using, you know, VCV Rack's unique sequencer capabilities? I'll show you how to do that right now. Boom. Now I'm hitting random notes. Every time I press a key on the piano or on my QWERTY keyboard, it plays a pretty much random note, but it's not random. It's just whatever point in the cycle the LFO is at. Here, let's get a scope so you can see. I'm just hitting notes on my keyboard to trigger it. I said that already, but. So yeah, as the LFO goes up, the notes go up. So that's pretty much the quickest way to start, you know, playing with your analog gear. It doesn't have to be analog, it could be digital hardware too. But playing with your external gear. And I don't know. Here, let's get a seek three with the gate going. Where are you oh there it is. <laughs> You ever just like make a new module and you don't know where it is? Okay, let's get some random gates. So put that in the gate trigger. Before I was just using my QWERTY keyboard. Now. Okay, now we're bored of using this LFO, so 
we're gonna use row one. This is kind of stupid to be using this. Uh, I don't know. Why not? Yeah, so now the Seek 3 is triggering my Korg mini log, and it's pretty cool. You know, I could use get random notes, whatever. Oh, if you want to quantize it and make it play actual notes. Well, since it's on the, the Volca modular, or since it's on the Korg mini log, it's playing, you know, notes in scale pretty much, I think. But if you did want to quantize it and only play notes, it's playing a chromatic scale right now. But if you wanted to play notes in a different scale, because it's MIDI, you know, MIDI only has chromatic notes. You could get a quantizer. I feel like I, I wasn't paying attention to like how I was talking, so sorry if I'm just like randomly rambling and not making sense. I didn't really make a script or anything. But yeah, if you want to quantize it and only play notes in a certain scale, Plug in a bad, a quantizer like this bad boy, the quantum. And, you know. If you want to speed up. That's it. You get the gist of it. How to play notes in DCV Rack 1.0 on your analog hardware gear. Jesus, that's annoying. How to play notes in VCV Rack 1.0 sequencing your external gear using VCV racks, internal sequencers. This allows for a lot of possibilities. You can, you know, get random patches on your analog gear so you could harness the power of VCV rack sequencing potential without using its, you know, digital oscillators, which some people might say aren't that pleasing to the ear. So this unlocks a lot of groundbreaking new forms of music creation, I think. And it, it makes it accessible for people to have like modular sound creating capabilities for a lot cheaper price. All right, free, you know, what's cheaper than free? Check you guys later, later skaters. Thanks for checking out the tutorial. I hope you learned something new. I think this is really cool, and I appreciate the people behind VCV Rack for implementing these new features and allowing us to express ourselves in new ways. So check you guys later. You know, let me know if you want to see anything else, learn anything new in any other videos, or what you want to see regarding electronic music. <laughs>